Look at this. Look at this, guys. I was on my way to go home, caught here in a light rain, a drizzle drizzle, so to speak. And I ran across this thing here. This is an international, an international travel all, which was a light truck offered by International Harvester up until 1974, I believe. This thing came out, I believe, in the late 50s. And then they continued production. As you can see, it's basically a suburban style vehicle roughly a farm truck or a truck that a farmer would use to his uh, his features his, his life functions on the farm or in the rural area so it gives you enough cargo capacity for your family and going to market or going to the Agway or local farm supply feed store so basically it's a light truck it's uh, 1100 with a cargo bed on it. Very nice car. Couldn't tell you what year it is because this year, this grill, they use this grill from 1971 to 1974. So there's only small, minute differences in the car. I'll see if I can give you a nice little walk around. 15 inch wheels. You know, very nice. It's a 1973 model. That's what the registration sticker says. It's got some rust out at the top. I put some tar up there because if it rains like this, it'll leak inside the cab. You know, just cover that with some tar because, oh, see, you got rust out right here also, right there. See that? That's an absolute hole. Cover that with some vulcanizing compound or some tar. I don't, you know, the body in the front looks relatively good. It's got some wheel rot around the wheel wells. You know. It's got a fuel tank here. It's got a bench in the rear. I don't know if this came with it. I don't know what these cars came with, but uh, it might have been added to it. It's got a second row bench here. You can't, I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that. No. It's, it's raining out here, so it's got a split bench in the front. You know, it's got a uh, regular three-spoke steering wheel. Trying to get out of the rain, so I want the camera to get that wet. Tailgate, the glass goes into the glass goes into the tailgate. I suppose it's either a motor right there or a hand crank. As you see, you've got your uh, dual arrow-shaped tail lights, one reverse, and one is your full-function rear tail lights. This is what it looks like from the side profile on the rear. These are semi-valuable. If you can find one and it's still roadworthy, like this one is, still a roadworthy vehicle, you can get, you know, you can't get a lot of money for it because of this thing right there. See the rust out? Right there, see that rust out in that quarter panel? You can see the spare tire inside the car. So, you know, these cars, there are no aftermarket parts for them, so you have to fabricate sheet metal. But good for you that International didn't really go overboard with the design. So... You know, regular sheet metal and an English wheel, which probably makes you some a replacement components. You see, it shared the window right there with the pickup truck, shared the door stampings with the pickup truck. This would be an 1100 if it were a pickup after like 1968, and it would be like a 1000 if it were a pickup truck before 1968, I believe. And if it was before 1963, it'd be a 100 or a 110. But uh, I don't know what that is right there. That appears to be another fuel filler door, but for what? Somebody tell me what that's for. So this is not a diesel. This is a 1010 Custom. So these things, they had a series of V8 engines. I believe the base model was a 345 cubic inch V8. And then I think there's one above that, maybe like a 401 or something like that. 372, I don't know. But anyway, 1973, International Travel All. This one could use some work, but uh, if you get one, it's pretty much it's a functional Suburban. Won't cost you anything to insure. Very much less to operate. 
these are conventional vehicles, international and American Motors didn't really have time for, you know, proprietary engineering, so they just engineered what worked and put it in the car, and if you don't like it, it's easy to replace with a General Motors or a Chrysler or a Ford powertrain and keep it moving. That's how they were designed. All right, please like and subscribe, and I'll show you more of these uh, classics as I find them. 1973 International Travel All 1010 Custom.